Hi, welcome to the demonstration video of the Ooze number one application, the Dashboard Ninja. In this video, we will see the different dashboard items which were pending in the last video. So in the last video, as you already are aware, we have placed five different items onto our dashboard. So in this video, we'll resume from the sixth one and that is the pie chart, right? So I'll click on pie chart, we'll go to the model, we'll choose the purchase order. We'll set up the measure as total sales orders, total purchase orders, and we'll group it with the vendor. Once I choose the vendor, you can see a pie chart has come over here. I'll save this and jump to my dashboard and I can see my item has uh, been, you know, showing over here. So now I'll switch to the another item, which is the donut chart. I'll choose the model as the purchase order. I'll set up my group as the total sales. I'll firstly choose the measure as total sales order and I'll try to get it with the date of the order. As you can see, I will be going the confirmation date. I'll choose it with the weeks. So you can see the data has come into the donut chart. I'll jump to my dashboard. You can see the item has come over here. Now I'll go to the next item, which is the polar area chart. For that, I'll go with the sales order. I'll go with the total sales order. And I'll group it with the total sales order itself. As you can see, it is showing you a message that yes, for a donut chart, for a polar area chart, we have a limit of 30 records. So we'll be setting up a record limit, which is also a feature of the item we can set up at 30 over here and you can see a chart has come over here we'll save this and we'll go to the dashboard again and we can see our item has come over here now last but not the least i'll show you how can we arrange a list view we'll go ahead with the sales order and now we will be adding the fields first field will be sales person that i want to see in my list second is the customer name i want to see Third is the order date I want to see. Fourth is the amount which I am interested in. So here is the list that is there in front of me showing me all the different data I want to see as per my particular choice. This is a very beautiful feature of this dashboard ninja where we can create such list which give us the exact data which I want to see. Also, I can limit the records to a particular number as I have not kept any limit right now, but we can go here and we can set up a limit, but that is something I'm not doing right now. We can save this and we can immediately jump to the dashboard and we can see. So I hope all these dashboard items makes your dashboard look beautiful and solve your all the purposes. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you, it will be of great help in case of any questions or queries, you can reach us at sales at the Thank you so much.